Friends, we've been looking at A Praying Life by Paul Miller. I, I hope you're getting something out of the book and out of these little videos. Uh, last time we were talking about why, why it is that asking can seem so hard. And, and now we want to turn the corner on that and say, well, why we can ask. And this particular chapter, chapter 13, I think it's, it's very powerful. Uh, we, we need to realize that our God is infinite and personal. And we approach him uh, in prayer. And if we want power in prayer, we need to come as those who are not infinite. You see, we, we need to come weak. We need to, to, to be desperate. Uh, and there's a certain confident yet uh, very sincere learned desperation that we can cultivate. Uh, this is at the heart of a praying life. Lord, if you don't show up, I'm in trouble. I'm desperate for you. And see, think about this idea again of an infinite personal God. Just no one like him. So, for instance, you think we say, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord, infinite, the I am. He's my shepherd. He's personal. Uh, God dwells, dwells with me. Yes, the real God, infinite, dwells with me, personal. And God says, I dwell uh, in the high and holy place with him who is of a contrite and lowly spirit. Exactly. The infinite God dwells with me. I come contrite. I come desperate. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy your prayer life. Enjoy your great God.